I'm standing next to Transporter, a sculpture by the New York City artist E.V. Day, part of a large contemporary art donation gifted to the Mint Museum by Washington, D.C. collectors Heather and Tony Podesta. E.V. Day originally trained as a painter at Hampshire College, making conventional nudes and still life paintings. After graduation, she moved to New York City to work in a photo gallery. In New York, a city that is constantly in a state of building and transformation, Day started taking pictures, especially of construction sites, and she developed an interest in architecture. She decided to go back to school to focus on sculpture, earning her master's degree from Yale in 1995. In 1999, she started her Exploded Couture series, of which this work, Transporter, is one. Here, her undergraduate studies of nudes and objects in still life collide with her study of architecture and the psychology of space. She explores those artistic concerns with gender theory and the burden that is put on classifications like feminine and femininity, and that relates to both women and queer culture, which was coming into its own in the 1980s and 90s when Day started the series. There is also the playfulness of pop culture, with references to Star Trek and the dress itself, which is by the Andy Warhol protege, Stephen Sprouse. Evie Day visited the Mint Museum in March 2021 and talked about the origins of Transporter and this work's unique place in her Exploded Couture series. Part of the excitement to me about the piece was the transaction where Stephen, without prompting, sent me the sequin dress in a Ziploc bag and said, do what you want with it. And so, first of all, getting a garment from him was so exciting, and then it was this sheer silver sequins, just a sheath. So it's almost just like there's only sequins. So this is um, almost a gossamer kind of, like if we're, it's like um, a shield for a spirit. And, um, and as I started, I knew instantly that I wanted it to be related to the Star Trek transporter. I wanted it to become this column of light where each sequin became like a beam of light or a particle of light, and that it would be reflected into a mirror disk above and below, creating this infinity column. And in that way, it is creating like an escape portal. And you, you know, you can look up, you can look down through it, but it's infinity. And it was another way for me to talk about a kind of feminist answer to how to, uh, how to remove oneself from female stereotypes or various conventions that um, limit one from being who they want to be or who they are. And so this is like the escape route 